hello all welcome back today i would like to show you something related to arch linux or basically any linux distribution security so there is a myth in the linux world like some people say like uh, linux don't have viruses or something but actually like all the other distributions linux is also having viruses and there are some tools which you can use to detect viruses or rootkits inside your linux distribution so the first one i'm going to show you is called rk hunter so rk hunter or the rootkit hunter is written entirely in bash script if you install with like it's available in all pretty much all distributions so you can use your package management system so i'm on arch so i'm using pacman if you are on debian or ubuntu you can use apt or apt get if you are on fedora you can use dnf like uh, same thing you can use uh, your distributions package management tool to install that the next thing is uh, after installing rootkit hunter you have to use sudo rk hunter then you have to use update dash dash update so it will check for like uh, updates to your rootkit hunter mirror files and all these things so if you're having like uh, an updated mirror you're going to get that then you can use sudo dash dash um, rk hunter dash dash prop update i'm sorry prop update so if you do that it's going to download um, definitions for your rk hunter it's a good thing to run prop updates every now and then so it's going to have uh, the latest like uh, database of available rootkit database so the main configuration file will be if i use a text editor the main configuration file will be inside slash hc and rk hunter so now it's saying like uh, permission denied i need to use sudo if i do that it's going to give me the configuration script like configuration file so if you need to make some changes like uh, this is like whitelisting so this will ignore all these files to avoid false positives and you can change like uh, how it works uh, you can change your mirror location and all these things over here so I'm not going to do anything with that because the default configuration is fine for me. Then you can do sudo okay, hunter dash dash check dash dash sk to check your system. So it will perform a full check on your system or your Linux distribution for rootkits. So meanwhile it's running over there. I'm going to open up a new window. Let it like complete the system update so the next thing we are going to do is i'm going to increase the font size a little bit so we are going to install clamp tk so if you install like clamp tk it's going to also like install clamp av the dependency for that so i'm hit no because it's already installed for me it's having like a graphical front end if you want to use that or else you can also use it from your terminal so this is clam tk which is the graphical front end for clam av by default it's going to check for your updates automatically you can use scheduler to customize the scan times like the update pattern and the scan pattern you can do that then you can use heuristic scanning you can scan for potentially unwanted application you can specify all the other scan options like if you want to do a recursive scan you can also specify that over here you can update your databases so currently it's showing my databases are outdated because i haven't done an update so do clam tk and i'm going to password so here you have uh, the scan options if you want to scan a file you can do that if you want to scan a directory you can do that over here if you are like uh, sure something is not a malware or uh, if you are like if you need to avoid that from your future scans you can whitelist it and you can customize your network configuration like if you're using a proxy and all these things 
so this will be the quarantine where uh, removed files or the detected malware will be present and you have this update assistant where you can like set set options like you can ask for automatic updates or uh, you can ma specify it manually like if you want to check for updates manually you can do that so if you need to use like uh, the non graphical end of clam av you can use press clam to update clam av so i need to use super user again i need to be a super user again i need to enter the password so it's going to download the database from the remote servers so i'm not going to do that right now if you are someone who keeps it minimal you can use it from the terminal itself if you need to scan one file you can use clam scan followed by the file name or the file path if you need to scan like uh, recursively you can specify recursive flag you can specify like for example slash home you can do that so it will do a recursive scan on our home folder so our RK Hunter have finished scans so it have checked for 432 so it's telling us the possible it, there is a possibility of uh, three rootkits present inside the system so the log will be available in this location so I'm going to cat the log I need to be a super user again I'm sorry I have to do this again and again the entire log you can check through that and if you are like suspecting it's a rootkit or something you can take the necessary actions for that so i hope this one was helpful i hope you all have a wonderful day